Hi and welcome to this week's Something for the Weekend. I'm Tony, sales manager here at Martin Lynch and Sons. And after many, 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 many requests uh, online and during the live shows, we've decided to go back for a used video. So let's begin and it's a bit of a bumper edition this week. So starting down here, we've got the Yaesu flagship radio, the FTDX 101 MP. Those that don't know, 200 watts output with this and it comes along with the power supply and speaker all in one unit and the good thing with this obviously is the additional filtering that comes standard obviously twin receive as well uh, really easy to set up if you want to operate digital modes um, does cover four meters which is really nice as well and yeah just a great bit a great bit of kit we've got a lot of the x guys now kind of changing from their 5000s and, and moving on to the 101 mp now it's been around long enough now that all of the niggles are kind of ironed out and it's just a great performer real real good bit of kit for the shack moving across we have icom ic7600 and I know you've probably just noticed the om but that has been sold so as, as I always say again with the used equipment if you do see something online or on one of the videos and you're after it, just press the buy now button because they go so quickly, the user equipment. So yeah, 7600 from ICOM, predecessor to the 7610, HF and six meters, 100 watts, full color display. Uh, good thing with these, as I said over the years, I think I've probably seen two or three of these in for repair and that's about it. Um, it does come with the waterfall display. Now they updated the firmware quite a while back. And it's just a robust radio that's just going to do the trick. And at 1,400 pounds, you know, it's a lot of radio for that money if you think of the price of a 7,300. Okay, moving across, we've got the 7610. So what do we need to say about the 7610? Dual receive, SDR technology. Again, nice clear display. You can route straight out to a, a separate screen. So it's basically all the parts that you wanted for your 7300 and all the functions that you wanted for your 7300 that it doesn't do. So the 7610 does it with ease. And yeah, great bit of kit. And again, with these, been around now for a couple of years. So again, if there's any issues, they've all been dealt with and you can operate one of these in the shack really easily. Uh, and if you don't want to be in the shack, uh, RSBA1 software and the RC28, you can operate this remotely really easy. And then moving across, we've got another icon. So, nice little icon lineup here. So, this is the 7800 Mark II. 200 watts output, obviously, twin receive as well on this. And just a real, real man size radio. As I said, a lot of the guys on the uh, the 80 meter nets and the top band nets absolutely love these radios. They've been, been around for many years now, just robust, never get any issues with them. They just work and do the job. Okay, if we go up, I'm gonna take a look at this. So ELAD FDM Duo from one extreme to the other. So QRP radio, five watts of power. And this one's in the uh, kind of Martin Lynch limited edition red color. So these were made solely for Martin. And good thing with these, you can operate it as a standalone SDR transceiver or use it as an SDR and connect it to the PC. Okay, along from that, I've got an MFJ 969 tuner. So it's the roller conductor tuner from MFJ, up to 300 watts power and great for tuning ladder line antennas and the like. And then across from there, we've got another icon. It's becoming a bit of a theme this week, the icon radio. It's got loads and loads of those that have come in from uh, customers and silent key sales here. So IC910HX, which is two meters, 70 cents and 23 centimeters as well. Uh, so good thing with this, all multi-mode. So if you want to go DX in, uh, take part in the activity week uh, contests every week, then the 910 is very good for that. Okay, 7300 next to that. We all know about the 7300. If you don't know, just take a little search on YouTube, you'll soon find out. Real, real simple to use, great UI on this. Um, HF, six meters, four meters as well, and just works an absolute treat. Okay, and matching SP38 for it there. Got a couple of these in stock. I've got a boxed one as well. 
uh, roughly about the same price, £120. So if you went for the package deal and you got the free SM30, then pick up a cheap speaker. Next to that, Alpha Delta four-way switch, which is SO239. This is one of the older variants, but still, as with anything, Alpha Delta, built to last, so no issues there. Okay, moving across, Kenwood TS870S. Beautifully designed radio. Uh, if Martin was here, he'd be telling you about the DSP that was put into these. Um, what can you say? SSB transmit quality on these is absolutely superb. So, and I just like the design on it. It's kind of like a bit of an old bit of hi-fi equipment, the way that they've done that. So beautiful condition. Fr microphone there, which is brand new, which we've put with it and also a brand new DC lead. Okay, and then coming across, Kenwood TS570S. So with the 570 HF 100 watts, obviously multi-mode as well, really simple to use. So again, you've got your band change buttons and you frequency up and down buttons here. And it's just a great backup radio, or even if you're just starting to get into HF and you don't want to spend too much money, then 570S, you can't go wrong. Next to that, Icom IC718. So good, I believe they're still selling them in the States at the moment. Um, HF, very, very simple to use. Uh, please note with these that they do not cover FM. So there is no FM mode on the 718s, but just a great radio. There is a uh, marine version of this available as well. So. Great if you're after a very simple radio. And I know a lot of you guys out there don't want to go down the SDR route and you're fed up of all the menus, etc. Then, you know, if you'd like to pound the brass, get a 718. It'll do the job for you, 100 watts. Perfect. Okay, moving across. One of the Zygu XPA125A linears. So around about 100 watts output on these. I think they claim to be 125, but normally around about 100 watts or so if you're running a 705. You can get connecting leads for the 818 as well as the 705 and uh, just save a few pounds on the price of a new one there. Next to that, the ASUS FT897D, shack in a box, HF, 6 meters, 2 meters and 70 sems. 100 watts on HF, 50 on 2 and 20 watts on 70 sems. Again, all multi-mode. And I mean, these, I'd, I'd hate to think how many of these that they've sold over the years. Um, it was used to say it was kind of like the bigger brother of the 857 and, and it's got the bigger case. Yes, you can fit batteries into this if you can still find some that are working. Um, if not, there are uh, a lot of companies, I think there's where Strikerlight may even do it, where they do replacement batteries, so I'm reconditioned batteries. So it's worth thinking about if you want to go portable. It's a, it's a great way of doing it and very robust. Okay, moving up from there. We've got uh, this very small kind of multi-branded power supply. So 21 pounds. So if you're running you know, a 705 or an 818, absolutely ideal. Got three amps on there and a five amp surge. So great for ancillary devices as well. Again, okay, moving across. So there's the other SP38 we spoke about. Got an MFJ 949E tuner and Probably, you know, 60 or 70% of us have probably owned one of these over the years and thought, oh, why did we sell that? Really simple to use. You've got all your adjustments here, induction, etc., And then you can select there whether you want uh, antenna socket one or antenna socket two. It does long wires. It does balance feed. Um, let's turn it around, actually, so you can have a, a look on the back there. It will give you PEP, etc. as well, if you run a DC into it. So as I said here, you've got your coax fitters there, and then your wire antenna and your balance feed as well. And obviously you can run to ground. Now, good thing with these, if I remember rightly, yep, is you can switch down and the 949 does come with the dummy load as well. So if you're doing any testing, you can just switch it through. Okay, moving across. Nice little Mydell power supply. I haven't seen one of those for many years. But again, great if you're just running uh, ancillary devices, maybe you want to power your soldering iron, etc. and bits. It's all there for you. 
And then we've got a scanner, Uniden Bearcat UBC 370 CLT. Good thing with this one, comes in with built-in FM radio and alarm clock. So if you're trying to be sneaky and you want to pop a radio on the bedside table, this one's absolutely perfect. Just say it's your latest alarm clock. And then next to that, little MFJ. Let's see if we can pick that up from here. 417 Morse code tutor. So if you're trying to learn the code, these are ideal. And you can do kind of preset QSOs with these as well. So rather than just getting random characters, you can actually listen and it kind of builds up your listening speed. Okay, got a, a cable there as well for an IC450 if you're running an LDG. So they're very handy. Getting very rare to find now. Uh, Icom SP23, a lovely speaker which you can put with either the 7600 or you could even put it with a 7610, wouldn't be an issue. Again, another SP38. And we've got a 10 tech PSU if you're looking to complete your lineup. Lovely KW107 Easy Match. Yes, it's got some writing on it, as you can see from the previous uh, owner, where they've obviously marked out their bands for tuning. Absolute <laughs> beast, beast of a tuner and Easy Match. You've got to get an Easy Match. If you've not had one before and you like playing with antennas, get an Easy Match. You can't go wrong. Okay, next to that, we've got a little BNOS power supply. And then we've got an LDG 8100 Pro 2. So 100 watt tuner for HF and 6. Good thing with these, I think it's about 2000 memories. So once you've tuned, it's, it's so quick to go back and retune again if you move across the bands. Next to that, MFJ 994 300 watt tuner. Again, automatic tuner. And then we've got a MFJ 407D, which is a nice little electronic keyer. So if you're running an older set that doesn't have a built-in keyer, then the 407 will do that for you. Okay, and then if we move down a bit, we've got the SG237. Let's put that across for you. Used to own one of these. Uh, SG237, there we go. So HF and VHF. And when I say VHF, I mean six meters. Random wire tuner, really simple. Stick that onto your wall outside, put your earth in there, run a wire down, and then plug straight through. Got another little ELAD FDM Duo, just the standard black version. And then if we go down again, got some lovely Tentec stuff of a vintage. So that's a two kilowatt tuner. That's the 238 Alpha. And that is, as I said, that's in very good condition. Got a copy of the manual there as well. There's a couple of marks which you're going to expect because of the age of the items, but I mean, absolutely beautiful. And then moving across, we've got the Tentec Linear, which is the 411 version. Now, with this one, it will be collection only. I don't have the original box for this. Um, get that taken off there so you can have a quick look. So again, we've just got a couple of blemishes where it's had stickers, etc., on there. But that's good for a legal limit. So four, 500 watts and at 500 pounds, about a pound a watt, you can't go wrong. Okay, moving across, got another little super match there from KW. Another SP38, got another 7300. Got an FTDX 1200. Now, I'm not sure if that's the original cover, I'll be honest with you there, but they've, they've put a cover on it, which is good to keep everything nice and new. Uh, HF in six meters, 100 watts. It has got a display on there. It kind of scans across and lets you know roughly what's on the band. It's not a real time display, so bear that in mind, but we do still do the FFT ones. So if you want to do CW decode, etc., we can get that fitted for you. I mean, under 800 pounds, that was a, you know, 12, 1300 pound radio not so long ago. That's a really good deal. Okay, moving across, nice Kent twin paddle key. There we go. So as you know, these are getting very rare to find nowadays, especially with the production sort of being stopped at Kent. So nice machined screws on there. And that's actually, it's not too tarnished that one, it's actually in very good condition for one of these. 
normally when we find these through as a high exchange or silent key so as you normally find it they're quite tarnished okay uh, next to that 857 i swear by these with an atas as a mobile unit everyone here has operated one with an atas and it's just perfect for mobile so hf 6 2 and 70 obviously you're going to cover those bands with the atas as well just grab a, a duplexer and the head separates as well. We may still have some separation kits available uh, and this one may even come with one, we'll have to check for you. Okay, moving across, something a little bit newer technology wise, uh, one of the Vero VR N7500s. These are kind of based on Android. So if you're running an Android phone, this bit here is really, oh, it's got a magnet, thank you. <laughs> so let's just take this across and we can show you. So this is literally all the radio is. So you've got your power, your TX and your RX, antenna socket on the back and the fan, obviously DC cable, fist microphone if you want to use the main unit, or, let's uh, see that back on there, you can use one of these. So this is a little Bluetooth microphone which you can charge up via USB and it's obviously operates as a speaker mic and then you have all of your details on your phone and you can just choose a frequency etc on the phone pop it in and away you go so great little idea that and I believe they've got some handhelds of these as well as new stock uh, I've got another 910 HX with 23 SEMS and next to that an 8200 so a 200 watt version of the LDG tuner. And then going way, way back, the first ever tuner that I ever had that was automatic, an LDG AT11MP. Now I bought one of these from Chris over at Moonraker when he was over here. He, he yeah, you wanna get one of these, you wanna get one of these, amazing. It was like the future and uh, he wasn't wrong. Great fun, so all you tune in here, you could just do adjust here, so if you wanted to go manual, or you can literally just tap down and change your induction. Okay, moving across, got a little Dayton Morse tutor. Again, you see these at the rallies and uh, they don't normally work. This one does work and has been fully tested by the engineers, as with all of our, our used equipment. Okay. Just before we finish these shelves, got an ICOM IC7700. 200 watts output, single receiver. Uh, one of the later models as well, this one. And all fully boxed, ready to ship. Absolutely beautiful, these classic ICOMs, few and far between, and what we're finding is a lot of guys are now holding on to these, so feel really really privileged that we've got the 7700 here for example the 7800 and of course if you come this way we have another 7800 mark two again all fully boxed and ready to ship worldwide and then we have the 7850 which you would have seen when Martin done the video. Beautiful radio, limited edition. And we've had loads of inquiries regarding this. Um, I will point out, as I've pointed out before, is the only issue that I found with this radio over time, and obviously we've done a lot of research um, with the 7850, is uh, a couple of the screws are black on there now for whatever reason if you do lose any of the items on this radio it's back to japan basically so it's that special that it has to go all the way back to japan if you're going to replace anything or anything needs replacing so bear that in mind it really is a special special radio we do do finance as well on this radio uh, so you can either do a buy now pay later or you can do it over a term you know anything from sort of two two to four years so you can really stretch it out and and enjoy the radio you know it's one of those items that if you're going to buy it you're probably not going to sell it for a while anyway okay so 7850 as i said that's fully boxed as well so we can ship that right going on from there 
Uh, just to remind you, we are still looking for sales staff and engineers as well. So please send us an email through to either sales at hamradio.co.uk or you can do an email workshop as well if you're an engineer. So workshop at hamradio.co.uk. Don't forget, we will be doing a giveaway for the 10,000 subscribers. And also we've got some more live videos coming out as well. So Saturdays will be live and we're going to be doing a live used uh, in a couple of Fridays time. Uh, Gary's got a very good video coming up on the FTM 200, which you would have all heard about because we went live with that this week. A uh, lot of questions regarding the FTM 200 and the 300 regarding pricing. Basically the FTM 300 is at a bargain bargain price at the moment. That price is going to increase. Okay, so the 200 will be the base model, but the FTM 300 at the moment, buy it that's all i can say because within the next few weeks it's probably going to go up another 50 to 75 pounds anyway thanks for watching and we'll catch up with you really soon and thanks for your support on lives again take care